Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to make your constant layout a scrollable by using a scroll view in the Android app. So let's begin. We'll create an empty project and we'll put lots of widgets so that you can see the impact of a scrollable, uh, whether the constant layout is scrollable or not. So I'll just name it as constant layout scroll app. Yeah, you can name it anything. Click finish. I'll wait for my environment to load. Once our, our environment loads up, first and foremost, I'll run it in parallel, uh, in an emulator in parallel, so that it can load up. Anyway, the code is pretty simple. So we'll go to the layout straight away, and we'll see. By default, we got constant layout here. If not, you can implement it. In the code, you can go and see it's constant layout here, and then there are lots of widgets over here. So we'll do one thing, we'll first enhance this constant layout itself and see how it comes up. So the text view is the default one what we have got here. So let the app also run in parallel on the right hand side in the emulator we'll see that we can't scroll it uh, to the bottom. If there is some widget in the, in the below or the bottom part we can't scroll it. We can do also one thing, we can just bring this text view itself in the bottom and we can put a couple of buttons, probably say one button. Yeah, don't forget to give uh, this uh, constraints. I just put another button probably on the right hand side over here. I'm just randomly putting uh, things here and there. It doesn't matter. I just want to show you. Uh, I'll just bring it to the right hand side and I'll also bring one more button somewhere down here, which is okay. Yeah, and then I'll push it somewhere below so that. It goes below the layout, which the impact we can see in the scrollable here. So right now, the in the emulator, our app has come up. We can't see. We can't drag and uh, scroll it. Okay. Also, the to see the impact of the scrollable, what we'll do is we'll use this text view over here. And in this, what we'll do is we will just uh, okay. First, we'll remove all the constraints. The default one what it gets, and then we'll put our own constraints. So let me. I removed all the constraints. Let me bring it down back there. And probably, yeah, if you notice, the button is also moving because button is uh, anchored to this one, to this text view. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. And once we have put something, uh, I think we can also, if we push it down, we see the text view has gone further below. But anyway, I'll bring it a little bit up. The width and height will put wrap content so that whatever the content we fill in, it should uh, always try to wrap it up. And we will also set one of its property, I think it's called chain uh, spread. So let's see where it is. Uh, this one in the vertical style, constant vertical style, I will put it like a spread so that it keeps a spreading towards the bottom side uh, as in when we just enhance it. Perfect. So once we can also check it in the code how it comes up. So this is our text view. No, I think that property is not set. I should have pressed enter over there. I think I want it. No, I think I should put a text view. And then I should set over here the property called chain style. So I'll go back here. Yeah, it's not set. I'm not sure why. And I should yeah, no, it should have been set. I'll go back to the code to see. Yeah, this is a property which is set. And uh, no, the layout width and height should have been the wrap content. Please make sure it's wrap content and not it's, it's not fixed because yeah. Okay, perfect. So once we have all these properties set, I will go back in the code and see of the layout. So this looks good because this is the what we will be doing the experiment with. I'll come back to the Java code. I'll quickly create my class variable called private text view text view. And over here, text view, find you by id r dot id dot text view. So this gets associated with my widget. And over here in the text views, I'll do the set text. And over here, I'll give a lots of text. Say for example, I'll just give my channel name, programmer world, and control C, control V, control V. So I'm just pressing. Uh, uh, backslash n which will create a new line so I am creating almost what 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
just to differentiate i will do one thing i just enter it by giving some number 789 yeah so that this is a last entry in my things now i'll run it and we'll see that somewhere here down below that text will come but we won't be able to scroll to visualize all the aspects here so if you notice in fact we are not able to see itself those buttons and the text view that's because our right now our constraint layout is not a scrollable so let's make it a scrollable so what we can do is we can either do directly in the code or in the design view also it's pretty simple we just take something called a scroll view just bring it in your uh, layout and then what you can do is we can bring all this as a part of this okay it's not moving i guess over from here so then we may have to do it no i think there's a linear layout so just remove that linear layout no it's not happening so okay so in design view it's not happening so what we, we may have to do is go to the code and just interchange from constant layout over here so just we'll bring this constant layout i'll do control x and bring it over here control v and i think this is still missing that's why it's giving all sorts of problem and then you can select this one it's called view here and don't forget to make it correct in the bottom as well so i think uh, this constant layout is ending over here that's not a good thing we should not add it so we will end it end it over here like this constant layout and control x will bring everything down here after the button and for the scroll view what we can do is again we can just make it like this yeah perfect and then to align it just select everything and press control alt i so that the android is taking take care of the, all the alignment yeah perfect now if you go back to the design view you'll see everything becomes a part of the scroll view the constant layout is a part or is a child of the scroll view now if you did the same code what we'll see is we i'm expecting that we can scroll and go to the this widgets the text view yeah if you notice i'm able to scroll now and able to go down the so whatsoever length it will be it will let me scroll until all my widgets are visible so say for example if i further expand it so after this i just put okay i'll put control c and over here control v control v so three times again and then probably i'll put something different this time d e f g h e f g h i j k l and then again two times so i'll see that it's expanding below and it will allow me to scroll further down so that i can visualize all the things of my this one of my text view perfect so if you see i can i can scroll uh, like this but if you notice so if you notice we are not able to scroll horizontally although the vertical scroll works fine but what if our some of the contents are on the right hand side as we can see this button is not completely visible this button is also not completely visible so how to take up the horizontal scroll so this is separate or a different view for horizontal uh, view a scroll view that's this one horizontal scroll view don't get confused this only a scroll view will take care of the vertical movement but for horizontal movement you have to include this separately uh, once you include this will again bring linear layout so remove that and then I think we'll do the same thing what we did previously. We we'll go to the uh, code part, and over here, I think again this won't work out. So what I will do is, yeah, and I will bring this after the constant layout tag, and move it above Control X, and before the constant layout over here, so that constant layout becomes a child of this. I'll again just call Control Alt I to align everything. Perfect. So now our code looks good. I go back to the design view and you can see a scroll view is the parent, then a horizontal view, horizontal scroll view, and then the constant layout and all our, my widgets are there. Let me run and see how it comes up. I'm pretty sure this time it should allow both the movement, the vertical and the horizontal. So vertical is being allowed. Perfect. So now the horizontal is also allowed. So we can scroll to the right side where or even left side like this to see our complete picture. So it's so simple 
if you have done your coding in the constant layout is pretty good pretty okay just you have to include this scroll view and horizontal scroll view to enable your code to or enable your layout to be scrollable in all the directions so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel um thank you for watching and have a nice day bye